Hi, I'm Tamela Mann. And I'm David Mann. And you're in this room with, with Madam Madame Noir. Noir. First. How do, my best friend from church uh, and went to high school with David had a chorus class with him, and at the time he was singing it in was a Kirk Franklin, myself, and a little Darryl side group. Yeah. yeah. So I went to sing for them at the school, and it's so funny that that weekend we kept running into each yeah, other at different we events. Had, we hadn't met, and we hadn't bumped into each other. But once we met, we started bumping into each other like everywhere. It's like we were running into the same places. I think she was stalking me. I don't know. I, I, I can't no, confirm I was that, in, but I think she no, was following sir, me. Sir, please. He was into me then. Sir, please. Yes. No, yes. No. I would say one of the secrets is she's my priority. Like we television, movies, music, all of that, it's great and yeah. it's fine, but she's my priority. And if anything ever interferes with me and my priority, we got to go. There's another one is we always try to outdo each, each other, other doing, doing for, for each other. other. Like she could never outdo me. No, doing for he him. could never outdo me doing for him. Like one time she bought me like, I think some like a week dozen of roses or something, two dozen. It was weak. It, whatever it was, it was weak. Because I came in and bought like 10 or 20 dozen. So why did it have to be weak though? Because mine was better. That was just one day. You know, I, I'm not gonna say what was missing, but now that I'm of age, that the change that we've all heard about, I realized that menopause really was probably a big part of why a lot of like people- Like older couples, you don't that realize they break, that, that they break up. And the thing about it is David is so in tune with me, more so with me than me, that <laughs> I think that that's really a cause of a lot of breakup after so many years is the spouse or the husband doesn't really realize what's, what's happening. happening. And by him realizing it and him realizing it make me be more aware of it. It's like, it's almost now like- you gotta tell him the truth. Well, I mean- See, I'm, when I first realized it, but I mean, and I, I said, I was, dear, I think you're going through the change. Ain't nobody going through no change. But I was fighting him because I wasn't, because I went and asked my doctor, I had got my levels checked. And she said my estrogen was good and I wasn't there yet. But the only thing is the doctor don't live with a, the doctor's not in tune with, <laughs> with your body. The doctor is in tune with your wallet. No, so. but she's a, she wasn't that kind of doctor. She's not that kind of doctor. She's not. What, you, what kind of doctor? I, but come on. <laughs> but she that's what of, I believe what has happened in a lot of relationships, why they kind of broke up after so many years. Because I had a couple friends that they were like, it they were couple to, 30 years, 30 something years and they and it and, hurt my it yeah. hurt, it hurt my feelings because i was now, like what? now that's one thing when we do see couples that break up after that it really bothers us because yeah. it's like you can work through it and that's that's something we did early and we talk about it in the book we took divorce off the table we made divorce divorce is not an option right. for us now not to say that's not the case for anybody else because if you're an abusive in an abusive situation run baby run yeah. The dreaded S, S word. word. Submission to me is not a bad word because biblically I look at that's the one thing that men was charged, for us women was charged to do is to submit. The verse that says that before the man, the woman submit to the man, it Please. says atop that we should submit, should submit to, to each other. other. See, but we don't, we don't want to say that. And submit to God. Yeah. And by him being under the leadership of God, it's like I can I can follow him because he has a mission for our family. And once a man knows, has a vision for his family, then a woman will have no problem saying, babe, you go ahead and leave. Because I know you're about to take us on someone. a journey that's going to be great. Right. But if he has no mission, if he hadn't, hadn't got under the mission that God has given him for his family. No goal. Yeah, it was no goal for the family. Then she shouldn't because it's going to be out of order. Oh, being spontaneous. What? Yes, being spontaneous and also. And not getting caught. Oh, David. And <laughs> I give him a new lady. You know, I may change my hair up. Sometimes you have to do some things a little differently 
as the woman, because my thing is, I'll do whatever it takes to keep his eyes on me. And because there's a lot of things going on in the world, and there's a lot of things to see. And so, make sure the door is closed. They don't, you don't have to, what are you talking about? This is not in the book. Oh, this that's is not in the book. That's a spontaneous thing, y'all. Never mind him, never mind. But you're just leaving this like wide open. They like, what is going? What is going on? You know, you have those inside secret stuff that happened. We were sneaking, and we was in the back cabin. I'm so embarrassed now. And we was doing what we was doing. And the door accidentally opened, and we didn't realize the door was open. So that's things. That's how you keep it going even after 30 years, because it just made so much laughter. We're still How laughing about was it. This, since this was just it. a week or so ago. <laughs> but anyway, we're just keeping things going in our marriage to keep it hot and spicy, you know, because I'm, I'm willing, you know, I'm going to do y'all New I'm York. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to keep it fresh for okay, him. Why, why am I starting to sweat now? The biggest thing for me that I've had to work on and still having to work on is listening. Because sometimes it's like, you know, we as women, and especially me, even after 30 years, my independence is still there. You know, I just want to try it my own way versus just hearing it out sometimes. So that that's a thing for me. I'm perfect. I'm good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to say it. <laughs> Something. <laughs> No, mine is over communicating because I'm a communicator. I communicate yeah. like I can communicate all day because I just think that's how you learn stuff. But sometimes I have to I, communication overload her. He's given me to really believe in myself. I think he's really turned that on or gave me that more than anybody else. And the patience that he's had with me has been over and beyond, even, I mean, I know my mom had patience with me, but honestly, he's helped me achieve so many things that I never, now you're making me about to be mushy. Oh, good. Achieve a lot of things that I didn't think I could <clears throat> achieve because of the belief that he had in me and the trust that he put in me that I, that I could. You know, it's like with the Lord's help and with his guidance, I'm, I mean, it's like, it's incredible. I mean, I just, see, I don't think I would be here today if it wasn't. You about to have us crying now. Yeah. Now, see, mine, there's a, there's a, there's one word that has a whole bunch of stuff under the umbrella of favor. So, because when I found her, I found favor. Now, because of that favor, everything that we hoped, imagined, or dreamed has come from that because of her as my favor. See, I couldn't have pushed her to do anything if it wasn't in there. If greatness wasn't in there, you know, the Lord wouldn't have given me like, okay. Because anybody else, like I told her the, the other day, I couldn't have probably done any of this with anybody else, with nobody else. It's just because of her favor. Because of her favor, our dreams were able to come true. We were, I was able to be the father that I am because of what she gave me. I'm not gonna start crying.